Hello, my name is Father Dave Swantick, Catholic priest, pastor of St. Martha's in Point Pleasant. And coming on this couch in just a moment. Let me see, good girl. Let me see. Hold on, Cragley. Hold on. Hold on. This, oh, this is my girl, Cragley. And on Sunday, although she didn't hear it, I wrapped the gospel. And a lot of people are saying, Father, can you put that online? We'd like to see it. We'd like to read it. So, hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing it. She is tired of me filming this. This is like my 22nd try. Anyway, we'll try. I hope you enjoyed it. If you stick around for the end, maybe we'll tell you a little bit about it and uh, get a little more out of the readings and theology of it, uh, as well as get a little more out of our faith this time of year at Advent. All right. Lifting her. She's 50 pounds. Lifting her 22 times. It's getting kind of heavy. All right. Let's try this again. Let's get the music going on. One, two, three. Prophet John the Baptist came to town, stepped in the Jordan, started throwing it down. People came from towns all around just to see what he was about. Who's that standing there, knee deep in the water, wearing camel's hair? He said, we best prepare, the Almighty's coming down. John thought bugs tasted funny, so he ate his bugs dipped in honey. The prophet didn't care about money, he cares about your soul. Dot the I's or cross the T's, but don't live like those Pharisees. And if you want to know where all this leads, God judges deeds. God judges deeds. Don't believe me, see for yourself If you take that Bible off your shelf A prophecy for the ages Has been written in the Bible's pages Laborer deserves their wages God judges deeds God judges deeds You may be Adam or your name say is Heather But your words and deeds belong together doesn't matter if you're holding your heart, if living it out, you never start. One day it may be too late and you're standing outside of heaven's gate saying, Jesus, Jesus, let me come in. But you chose a life of sin or the faith in you had yet to begin. Give the devil a chance to grin as it looks at your soul. John himself was thrown in jail. Jesus would never let him fail. So to John, a message he sent that we read in the New Testament. The lame walk, the blind see. God had come back for humanity. Even the dead come back to life. So John need not fear Herod's knives. Righteousness was John's attraction. So Jesus gave John a list of actions. God judges deeds. God judges deeds. This is the perfect time of year to repent from sin and its crimes clear. Christmas is almost here. Don't get caught up in the shopping if your faith life is what you're dropping. Jesus on John are showing you how. Think of something good, you do it now. Hello, okay, so thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, video. And I thought I'd just tell you a little briefly about it. Um, so third Sunday of Advent is supposed to be a Sunday of great joy. It's supposed to be one of, uh, fun. You know, Christmas is almost here. Um, so that was my thinking that, well, you know, let's do something crazy. Let's, you know, let's wrap the gospel. Um, I grew up listening to, um, my born in the seventies, grew up in the eighties, listening to rap. Um, you know, I remember when MC Hammer told us we couldn't touch this. I didn't know what this was, but whatever it was, it was not going to be touched. Um, I remember, um, I mean, MC Search, you know, I remember um, Bust a Move. I love Bust Move. In fact, it's one of the first songs I learned on the bass guitar when I played the bass. So, um, love that stuff. I mean, there was like power to the words, you know, in rap. It's like, wow, these guys are like fast and they're powerful and they seem to have an attitude. And, and you know, John the Baptist was powerful and his words, I mean, his words had power and everybody went out to see John. 
So right, nobody talked like he talked. So I thought, you know what, let's try this. It might be a really cool and fun thing to do. And it came, you know, I was driving back from a priest meeting on Thursday. I had a, all the priests of the diocese got together to pray to, for ourselves to get ready for Advent um, and for Christmas here during Advent. And um, I remember just coming home, I was like driving. I'm like thinking about my homily. It was Thursday. I'm like, John the Baptist came to town, stepped in the Jordan, started throwing it down. I'm like, hey, you know, that's pretty good, Lord. Uh, and I was thinking about locusts and honey and funny. And I was like, you know what, let's try this. So, so in there briefly, so in that song, you can't work your way to heaven. No Catholic believes that you can work your way to heaven. You know, there's like people that say, oh, Catholics, you believe in works. No, we condemn Pelagius. If Pelagius was, it was Pelagianism was a heresy, you know, centuries ago. I want to say in the fourth century. Uh, I'm sure my friend Josh will correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure it was the fourth century. And, you know, you can't earn grace. You can't earn heaven. It's a free gift. So God judges deeds is not saying that you can work your way to heaven, but it's saying your deeds matter, right? John the Baptist, what did he say? He said, he said, produce fruit as signs, you know, of your repentance. And Jesus himself, he's going to talk about deeds. He's going to, Jesus himself will say, right, you can't just say to me, Lord, Lord, right? You're going to be wailing and, and grinding your teeth. Not all who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of your father in heaven, right? And and it's not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should lose the faith, right? God says you have to love God and love your neighbor. You have to forgive. If, you're not, if you don't forgive, you ain't going to be forgiven. So deeds matter. In fact, the end of, the end of Matthew's gospel, right? Who, who doesn't get into heaven, right? It, what Jesus is going to say, I was hungry. You didn't give me to eat. I was thirsty. You didn't give me to drink. And people will be like, Lord, when do we see you hungry or thirsty? When you didn't do it for the least, you didn't do it for me, right? So deeds matter. In fact, like, so I tried to put in that song, it doesn't matter what you hold in your heart of living it out, you don't start because a lot of people think, well, I believe this, I'm going to be fine and I'm saved because, you know, I once I did a good deed where I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior, but then I did nothing with it. I kept, I didn't let that faith out and I'm, I'm fine. I have the insurance policy. It doesn't work like that. You know, Jesus is going to say, sorry, you know what, when I was hungry, you didn't give me, you know, to eat. And when I was naked, you didn't give me clothing. When I was in the nursing home, you didn't visit me, you know. When everyone abandoned me because I was, whatever, on drugs, you didn't, you know, help me out. You know, you didn't pray for me, right? And Jesus, and for a lot of people say, well, I'm a good person. I don't hurt nobody. Yeah, but if you don't help anybody, then you're not following the gospel. And who's in heaven? The people that help, the people that love, the people that pray. Jesus says, pray, knock, seek, ask. And if you don't do those things, it's going to be hard to square up with him, uh, frankly. So, anyway, Jesus himself is going to come. He's going to ask us to be reconciled. And he's going he's gonna to be the reconciliation and bring it. And he's going to say, your good deeds have to shine, you know, before others. God didn't put a lamp, you know, to put under a bushel basket. You're supposed to be a city set on a hill. So all that being said, it's Christmas, right? It's a time of year where people are kind and people are nice. And they're not just nice because they're, it's Christmas, right? They're nice because that's how we prepare for the coming of Jesus, right? And not nice is actually, that's too weak a word. We do good things. We do good deeds. We live our faith, right? Jesus will tell a parable of two sons and the one says, yes doing the Father's will, and then doesn't do it. And the one who does the Father's will, well, he said no at first, and then he lives it out. And so that's what we're called to do, right? So the perfect way to get ready for Christmas is not shopping. Not shop, it's doing good, right? And so that could be taking a name tag off of the Christmas tree at your parish for, you know, and a lot of people did at our parish. We, we sent, I don't even know how many, it was a, like a thousand pounds or more of, of uh, goods, you know, and, and presents for those kids uh, that'll be given out at the food pantry. And then um, the craggly tree, the, you know, like even helping out like animals, you know, at the food, at the shelter, like all the stuff that came in for the cats and the dogs at the shelter. Outstanding. Amazing. I love this parish. God bless you. Like doing stuff like that or like, you know, if someone's, your family needs someone to listen to them, like spending time listening to them, being more patient with someone and especially visiting, like when the choir showed up and sang for everybody in the nursing home, that was awesome. We have some great people in the choir and, you know, I see those folks all the time, you know, at the nursing home and it's just great because, you know, they're looking for someone to visit them and Jesus is in them. So he's in, and he was in our choir when they went out to see them or the homebound, those who bring communion to the homebound or Bible study or just spending time with people. So, um, we do that because he calls us to, right? We do that because he did that. Uh, we're not doing that to earn grace. We do that because of grace inside of us. So uh, God bless you. I hope you had fun with this. Um, 
I'm, I'm actually thinking about trying another rap um, around the Feast of the Holy Family. So right about the turn of the new year, uh, we talk about uh, Jesus' flight into Egypt and the Holy Family, uh, the persecution of the Feast of the Holy Innocents. That's what it is. And then um, the Feast of the Holy Family. So we'll see. Stay tuned. Hope you had this. Hope this was fun. God bless you. Uh, do what the Lord is telling you to do. Respond to the grace inside of you, and you'll be ready for Christmas. God bless.